Recently, I was challenged to make candy-coated mini eggs. If you ever had Cadbury mini eggs, then you know they are a favorite Easter treat for kids young and old. They are rich and creamy milk chocolate centers in the shape of cute little eggs, and they're coated with crisp, colorful candy shells. I've not made anything like this before, but I couldn't resist the challenge. So follow along as I show you how I made my version of this classic Easter treat. I'm using a magnetic polycarbonate mold to form these eggs. This double mold works great for forming the chocolate eggs. To make the centers, crystallize milk chocolate. Pour the chocolate into the cavities of the two half molds. Scrape the excess chocolate using a chocolate scraper. Prepare a paper cone and fill with milk chocolate. This chocolate will be used as glue to attach both sides of the chocolate eggs while setting. Pipe a small amount of chocolate onto the surface of the eggs. Work quickly to prevent the chocolate from setting. Place the second mold on top and place in the fridge to set. Once the chocolate is set, lift the top mold away and tap the mold to release the eggs. In a pan, I've made a super saturated solution by combining sugar, water, and invert sugar to create a candy coating for the eggs. To cover the eggs in the candy shell, I'm using a panning machine or chocolate panner. This machine is perfect for tumbling the chocolate centers and building many thin layers of sugar to create the hard candy shell. After the many applications of sugar that have been applied, the candy shell will build and thicken into a crisp white shell. After this, I separated the eggs and coated each of the groups of eggs with a food coloring solution. Continue to tumble in the panner to finish developing the candy shells. When finishing the eggs, I went for a textured appearance as I like how it complemented the aesthetic of the pastel shades of these mini eggs. Now let's see the end result of this project. The mini egg has a nice hard shell and it has a satisfying tapping noise as the candy shell is nice and crisp. How about my eggs? They have a good candy shell that's nice and evenly coated, and a good solid tap. There are some key differences from my version, of course. The size is different as it is determined by the mold I used. I also went for a textured finish too. But in the end, these candy coated eggs were crispy and the chocolate was creamy and smooth. They look pretty good for a first attempt and this will not be the last time I make them. Do you have a candy that you love and you're curious about how it's made? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you found value in this video, Give it a like and subscribe as it helps the channel. And hit the notification button so you know when my next video is out. See you next time for another awesome video. Cheers!